Hello everybody, in this uh, video I'm going to give you more tips uh, how to make amazing images with Midjourney without actually knowing lots of important words, keywords. So basically you see here I generated this image in Midjourney and I have no really idea of how to really describe all that but this is the original image from Pixabay which served as a reference. This is another image generated by Midjourney. I'm going to show you, of course, what I wrote. This is another one. Beautiful. So what's the secret? Well, basically, searching for compositions, interesting compositions, in other uh, image uh, places, like Pixabay, for example. So I just worked in Pixabay Fantasy. This is on pixabay.com. And I search fantasy images. And then just scroll down and see things that I, I mean, I don't really know how to describe it well, but I can use it as a reference. And the good thing about Pixabay, by the way, they actually have some nice keywords. They can actually describe the image by the photographers or artists that made the image. So it's actually also nice to learn some nice keywords as well. Uh, and yeah, I'm just browsing and searching for images that can actually uh, be good for what I want to achieve in terms of just the way the image look, the composition, the colors maybe, and if I find something that is nice, I'm actually using it as a reference. So basically I browse through the images, I got to page two, beautiful compositions here. Each one of them can serve you as a reference for your AR creation. And then I came across, this is also beautiful. You can see the world surreal, bloom and portrait, all these keywords are actually useful. So you can learn more about what's presented. Steampunk, city clock, right? If you didn't work there, art style, it's called steampunk. And then I came across this image, portrait root moss, right? And by the way, now you know how to describe it, so you can actually just describe it in text, right? Uh, and I really liked that image, and I knew that I want to use it as a reference, all right? Let me just show you clearly. This is the image, right? Very wide, but beautiful. I really like that composition. All right, next, I brought it into uh, Midjourney. I actually wrote the URL here, URL here, but it's, you, uh, Midjourney actually changes the URL uh, to Midjourney Kurarvan, but again, if you click it, you're gonna see the original image. And I just wrote dark, I wanted something more darker. So I wrote dark woman, demon with yellow eyes, uh, emerging from dark bushes, Void, intricate body details, realistic, and more keywords there. But basically, I also uh, put image weight three to give it more weight to the original image relatively to the keywords here. And I gave it 16 by 10 aspect ratio wide. And then I got some interesting uh, results here, as you can see. Let me just lower it a bit down. And here we go. All right, so you can see that I got different images that look beautiful. And those are actually created using a reference of the image, the original image from Pixabay. And these ones look really, really beautiful. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to achieve, uh, but really good. I mean, I wanted a darker image of a kind of a demon or something. But of course, if I play with the keywords more, I can get what I want. But basically this one would be very hard for me to describe and probably get if I just type it inside uh, Midjourney with just the keywords. So I just went and tried to use more variations of it. As you can see, we get different variations of the same thing. Uh, then I try again, generate them again, and I got really other really cool ones. Look how good it looks. This one is beautiful and I really like that. Also this one. It's all because I gave Midjourney, this is another something I tried with another image. And you can get really beautiful results. And as you can see, everything is kind of a reference to the original image in a way. And something that probably if I can describe it, I probably wouldn't get what I want. But because I have the image, I know how it looks like, I can just tell Midjourney to use it as a reference. You look at the different variations, just looks stunning. All right, but something I want to show you. So 
sometimes you see images that have very short description, but they just look so stunning. You ask yourself, how actually be journey generated for very short? Keep in mind, many of the images are generated using just words, but there are some that generated with different keywords and uh, uh, other parameters. So basically, if you just read, click, and you read here, you can see that there's just text. But this is not the only thing that the creator wrote. Uh, if you go to those three dots and we click it, and then we go to copy command, then we're going to have everything that was written. So if I open Discord, right, and I just put it here. Oh, you can actually see it already. <laughs> uh, you see? And you can see the other comments here. Right, uh, but if there is an image, you're gonna see the image here. Uh, but this is doesn't use if there is an image, you're gonna see it here. So basically, you're gonna see the entire command, uh, including the link to the image. However, uh, keep in mind that if you're doing variation, you're gonna see URL here, but it's gonna be the URL of that specific image you are creating variations from. All right, something to keep in mind. But if you're going to the original image and the image was originated using an external image reference, external URL, you're going to see the URL and you can actually go and follow it and you're going to see the original image. Yeah, so basically when you browse through uh, images uh, on mejourney.com, on the community feed, you can actually, again, as I told you, inspect the image and check the keywords there. And if you want to see the entire command, if there is an image used there, you can just do copy command and you can see it. Just remember, you can go to parent if you want to see the original image because this one, for example, uh, this one is an upscale, but this one is the previous one. Although this one can also be based on another image that these are just variations of. All right, just keep this in mind. And this is it, a few tips about uh, uh, images, URL, and uh, how you can actually uh, see them when you're browsing through other people's uh, art. And you can see that using them can really give you an easy way to just use different images that you really like and you want something similar, but it's very hard for you to describe it, maybe because uh, just it's hard for you. You don't have the vocabulary to describe it. So this is one way to kind of uh, use both external images with, combined with uh, your tags in order to create something original, new, and interesting. So this is it for this video. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you find this one useful. We're coming. See you on the next one. Cheers.